himself with the affairs of this world that he may please him who has called him to be what? A soldier. We are soldiers of the Lord. And we are supposed to be like soldiers. You don't see soldiers in the war front dragging their feet, their hands down, and it's like, you know, they push them a little bit. Do they have energy? Are they eating? Soldiers for five days, they are not eating, but they are running. Amen. They are not fainting. They are doing whatever it takes to get the war to come to the outside positively. And by the grace of God, we are winning this war in Jesus' name. Amen. I said by the grace of God, we are winning this war. Amen. We are winning this battle. Amen. And the Lord will give us the victory in Jesus' name. Amen. And please understand that no one is exempted. Not even our children. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Children, you get to your school, tell your friends. There's a program going on in our church this weekend. I want you to come with me. You invite them. You bring them. No one is exempted. Because no one is exempted from the blessings of the Lord. And that blessing of God will be upon you. Amen. I said the blessing of God is upon you in Jesus' name. Decisiveness. That's what God is talking about. You decide. And you said, well, we are going to go into the battle. And we are coming successfully. And you know what? You will come successfully in Jesus' name. Amen. The 70 return in that Luke chapter 10, verse 17. They return with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You have the name of Jesus. Amen. I said the name of Jesus is in your mouth. Amen. I said the name of Jesus is in your mouth. Amen. And you are called by the name of Jesus. What's your name? You are a Christian. Christian, according to the people in Antioch, are those who have been identified with Christ. Little Christ. They are Christians. You know, somebody said, if you separate the Christian, you know, the name Christian, you take, you separate it to two, you take Christ apart, you take, take I-A-N apart, Christ, I-A-N, I am nothing. When Christ is separated from us, I am nothing. But when Christ comes into you, the Bible says in Colossians 1, 27, it says, Christ in you, the what? The hope of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Say Christ in me. Christ in me, Christ in me is the hope of glory. I have a hope that I'm going to be glorified. I have a hope that it's going to be a glorious year. Why is that? Because of Christ in me. Not by power, not by man, but by his spirit that lies and resides in me. Christ in me is the hope of glory. And so, I am decisive. And you see the disciples, they didn't go out in their own name. They went out in the name of Christ. As you go out in the name of Christ this week, uh, this week you are coming back with rejoicing in Jesus' name. I said you are coming back with rejoicing in Jesus' name. You are not dragging your feet here and there. You are not forgetting about it. You are not like some people in scripture. Let me read them to you. First Kings. First Kings chapter 20. Let me read that passage to you. You know, because there are people who are going to be busy here and there doing some other things. They are busy with the world, busy with things that will perish, but they never give thought to the things of God. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Yeah. You will not be number among those people in Jesus' name. Yeah. First Kings chapter 20. Look at it in verse number 39. And as the king passed by, he cried unto the king and said, Thy servant went out into the midst of the battle. You see that? In the midst of the battle. You are in the battlefield. You want to be cautious and watch and look around. Your servant went to the midst of the battle. And behold, the man turned aside and brought a man unto me and said, Keep this man. If by any means he be missing, then shall thy life be for his life. Else thou shalt pay a talent of silver. It's like Jesus coming to you and he says, I have saved you, I will redeem you. Now, I have made you a watchman over the house of Israel. You know, if I say unto a man that he shall die in his sin, and you didn't want that man. He said that man will die in his sin, but his blood will I require from your hand. He said, but when you want that man, and the man refused to heal you, you have delivered your soul. You have delivered your soul. And what the Lord is asking is, deliver yourself. Deliver your own soul. Do your own part. And God will do his own part in Jesus' name. So as we are going out this week, you want to talk to somebody. You want to begin to pray that God will lead you to somebody. And so here, this man, they even led him to somebody and they put him in charge. And then look at verse 40. And as thy servant was busy, here and there, he was gone. 
As thy servant was busy here and there. The man was busy, he was in the battlefront. Paradventure, the man was looking for a crown that fell down. Paradventure, the man was looking for a piece of quarter that fell from somebody. Paradventure, the man was looking for a, 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 a goodly Babylonish garment that fell off a man that has just been killed. And he said, You know what? Before anybody know, let me take this one and hide it. When the war is over, then it will be mine. The man was so conventional that all he was looking for was his own things. Now don't look too far. Don't think too far about that man. That man is you. That man is you. That woman is you. If you get too busy this week and you don't do anything about the program coming, that's what the Lord is going to tell you. The Lord is going to say, I give you every opportunity to do everything possible. And my authority is going with you. My power is going with you. And Paul says, the grace of God that is given unto me is not in vain. His grace will not be in vain in your life. Amen. I said the grace of God will not be in vain in your life. And so go in the authority of the Lord. Go in the power of the Lord during this week. And come back with rejoicing. And that will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. I said that shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. As thy servant was busy here and there, she was gone. And the king of Israel said unto him, So shall thy judgment be, thy, be thyself as decided I pray that will not be our judgment in Jesus' name. Amen. In 1 Kings 18, 1 Kings 18, verse 21. 1 Kings 18, verse 21. Here is Elijah coming unto the people of Israel and he's telling them, here is there's, there's a battle going on between evil. Ahab and all his people and the Jezebel, they are all on one camp. Israel, are you going to belong on the camp of God or you are going to stay with the Ahab and Jezebel and his wicked queens? That's what Elijah said in uh, 1 Kings 18. And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long hold ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if bear, then follow him. And the people answered him, Not the more. They felt guilty. They felt their guilt. If you feel like that this month, and you feel so silent in your soul, because you have not done what the Lord has said you should do, there's only one answer. Only one answer. You have known about the authority of God. You have seen the power of God at work. Think about it yourself. God himself has done wonderful things for you. Has done great things for you. Saved your soul. Redeemed you. Provided for you. Why will you not extend his goodness to other people outside there? The authority is already with you. Begin to use it. And by the grace of God, the Lord will walk through your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I said the Lord will walk through your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And you know what? When the power comes down through you, we are going to begin to see wonder. Because when the power came down in the days of Elijah, look at verse 29. And when all the people saw it, what did they see? They saw the fire. Verse 20, 38. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stone and the dust. The authority of God was in manifestation in Elijah. When that power came down, all the people saw it, they fell on their knees and they said, The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. That will be your experience this week. Amen. And as people are coming on Sunday, on Friday, 6 p.m., Saturday, 6 p.m., Sunday, that will be their experience in Jesus' name. Amen. Power of God will be in manifestation. Amen. Authority of heaven will be in manifestation. It shall be so for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Decisiveness. We do it. We are not, you know, halting between two 